Welcome back to Stray Gods. Check out the address Pan gave me. It's open. That's not a good sign. This is Calliope's apartment? I don't know what I was expecting, but not this. Um, hello? Oh, sure, Grace, good job. Just announce to the killer that you're here. I better have a look around. Can you hear everything okay? After Calliope left the audition, where did she go? Did she follow me? Did she come here? Of course there's a giant harp. Did she paint that? Looks like it belongs in a museum. anything useful down here. Maybe there's something upstairs? Oh man, keep it together, Grace. It's just your average, every day. We're only three muses, you know, not nine. Ever they found someone who made something truly masterful or created a new art form? They'd pass on their idol on, take a new name. You see, that's how the mortals became confused. They got it wrong. Like they got almost everything about us wrong. What are you doing? Sitting here in the dark. What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, preparing your villainous monologue? I'm grieving. 
for a dear friend. If I may ask, how did you find this place? And what are you doing here? Why do you think? One week to prove my innocence, remember? I do remember, yes. This is Calliope's home. Seemed as good a place as any to start. I honestly wish I could help you, Grace. You and Calliope both deserve better. Can you tell me about Calliope? I barely knew her, but she seemed... She was a beautiful soul, if troubled. Troubled? Uh, she thought the idols had lost their way. She argued with us, with all of us, that we needed to change. I hadn't spoken in years. I hadn't seen her home before today. I am. I'd rather not talk about it. I should thank you for, you know, speaking up for me. It wasn't right, what they were doing. It still isn't. I still need help. I'm not disputing that, Grace. I just don't think that I'm the one to help you. This room is a mess. Did you do this? With this? It was like this when I got here. And you didn't think that was in the least bit strange? I didn't think much of it, but I came here to be reminded of Calliope, not to search through her things. I didn't... it's, uh... it's cleaner than my place. So you didn't mess up the room, but someone must have. There could be a clue. No, nothing that I've seen. All this mess, as you put it, is likely the result of her projects. Her projects? When Clive got an idea in her head, she would obsess over it, sometimes for months, even years. I don't know what she was involved with lately, but this... Uh, for her, this is nothing. Well, I guess I have no choice but to ask. Why can't you help me exactly? Pan said there's no specific rule against it. You've already met Pan? How odd. It's not that I'm forbidden to help you, Grace. It's that you don't want my help. Of course I do! You have to know more than me about almost everything! My help will only make things worse. How is that possible? I've been sentenced to death. And without my help, you stand a chance of avoiding that fate. So let me get this straight. You'll speak up for me, but you won't lift a finger to help. You don't want me to do more. You keep saying that, but it doesn't make any sense. If you didn't want to help, that'd be one thing. But insisting I don't want you to? <laughs> why not? Song time. can't do this. Calliope was clearly important to you. Don't you want to know the truth? <sighs> of course I do. Then what's the problem? Don't do it for me. Do it for her. I, I haven't sung in centuries. According to Pan, I can't force anyone to do anything. There we go. <laughs> Knew it was coming. Phantom pains from a missing friend. Feeding thoughts, thoughts that never end. What did I do? What didn't I do? Here she is, only in your head 
long gone fights, but they're never dead. What did I do? What didn't I do? Calliope, what was she to you? Years, thousands of years. certain what you expect me to do. Athena called you the god of prophecy, didn't she? Isn't that telling the future? <laughs> prophecy is the last thing you need, Grace. Mm. Well, given his track record... It'd be helpful if you could explain why, exactly? This is all new to me, remember? Yes, of course, that's true. It's so easy to forget that. To receive a prophecy is not simply to be told what might happen, it's to be told what will happen. To know a prophecy is to be bound to its outcome. Only in ignorance is one free to choose. You're talking about fate, aren't you? Destiny. I am. I can't say I've ever believed in fate. Oh, you probably didn't believe in magic either, but here we are. That's a good point. 
My power is to pick at the strands of fate and make a single path clear. But in doing so, all other paths vanish. Worse, prophecies are never crystal clear. Sometimes you won't understand the full meaning until it's too late. Okay, is there anything you can do that isn't prophecy-related? Um, not directly, but yes, possibly. With me. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is where you live? Oh, yes. Sometimes. A and excuse the mess. I... <laughs> I don't get many visitors. Don't worry about it. I... I have three brothers. I've seen a mess or two. Well, you're being kind. I admit I... hadn't realized how bad it was. You said I'm here to meet someone? Ah, yes. Um... Do you know what an oracle is? I knew it. You mean like the Oracle of Delphi? People want to ask your questions, I think, or was that just another story? Oh, you know about that. Okay, well, that'll make this easier. There have been many oracles over the ages. They serve as a sort of conduit for my powers. This allows them to offer insight, knowledge they have no earthly means to possess. There's always been one. Over the ages, no matter where I go, one manages to find me. Meaning there's an oracle here? There is. <laughs> what? I've brought someone to see you. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a magic fortune cookie. Is that what Paul told you? Oracle's my handle. And even if I was the Oracle, I'm certainly not his Oracle. I can't choose that. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. He said you might... Oh, I know what he said. Paul thinks just because I crash here, he can interrupt me whenever he pleases. Mm. Look, I'm sure he told you all sorts of nonsense. I use computers. I'm a hacker. That's it. I ask very little of you, Oracle. Your help here would be appreciated. <sighs> Fine. I'll get your abs in a twist. Okay, so Paul brought you all this way just to see little old me. What's on your mind, sis? Okay. Um... So you're an oracle who uses the internet, huh? Like I said, it's my handle, and yeah. It's a sweet setup, huh? Some of it's even legit. The parts I purchased for her, presumably. Bargain for, fair and square. And I keep telling you to get me an ethernet cable. I don't know what that is. <laughs> This is the 21st century, Paul, and your 21st century Oracle needs her some download speed, okay? I don't care that she calls him I'm Paul. looking for information about someone named Calliope. Can you help? Oh, the lady from that apartment I sent Paul to. Yeah, I've been checking that out. What did I tell you? I looked it up. You could do the same if you learned to use a computer. Here. Hold up, I'll show you. There. The apartment was originally purchased two years ago by a holding company, Core with a K Enterprises. Oh. Corey. Yeah. Oh, I see. That would be... Persephone. Persephone. Yeah. Knew it! All that rage back at the Core's had to be an act. She's involved in this somehow. I realized Persephone was angry, but I didn't know she and Calliope were friends. How strange. 
Good news is that Persephone is easy to find. I can take you to her if you like. Yeah. I'm thinking she won't be happy to see me. Persephone is rarely happy to see anyone. Great! We're all done now. Thank you for your help, Oracle. Please, do try to get out from behind your screens at least once today. Perhaps go for a walk. Yeah, yeah, sure, will do. Leave a tip on your way out. did we learn about Calliope? It appears Calliope was staying at an apartment, one that belongs to Persephone of all people, and it's actually not too far from mine. Could that be where Calliope was attacked? Am I crazy for agreeing to go check it out myself? According to the Oracle, Persephone owns the apartment Calliope was living in, so they knew each other, they were close. I guess she's next on my list of idols to talk to, though I have a feeling she's not going to be very happy to see me. I'm going to take a break here. I don't want to go for too long. And besides, I need to pour myself another coffee. <laughs>